Anxiety. It's increasing in so many places around the world. And if you've ever felt anxious about something, you'll know what an unhelpful, terrible feeling it feels like. You'll know what a big block it is in achieving what you truly want to achieve. As a coach, I'm lucky to help lots of people with anxiety. And I've felt anxious at times too. When I'm doing anxiety, when I'm creating anxiety for myself, what I'm doing is I'm looking into the future. I'm looking into the future and I'm thinking of the worst possible scenarios. So I'm using all my creative imagination to create the worst possible scenarios. So with that, maybe I'm making a picture in my mind, or maybe it's making a movie, or maybe it's hearing that inner voice, my inner dialogue, saying some really unhelpful, nasty things. So creating these things, worsifying the situation in the future. And a really common question that you might recognize with anxiety is this question, what if? What if it doesn't work out? What if it fails? What if they don't like me? What if I don't know the answer? So again, it's not a positive what if question. It's not what if it all goes really well? What if I get even more chances at this? It's those negative what if questions. And those negative what if questions, there's no end to them. It's like a big black hole we jump into. And with all this, I'm not pausing to acknowledge how far I've come in life. I'm not pausing to acknowledge my successes so far. I'm not counting my inner resources or the resources around me. So anxiety is future based. I'm not being here in the now. So to flip it around, to feel calmer, more confident, more relaxed, the secret is count your successes. Be present in the now. Make a plan. Take action. Doing something is better than doing nothing. So moving forward reduces anxiety. So all these tips work. Try them out, see how they work for you. Try them out and see the positive difference. Let me know how they go. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you tomorrow.